Hi, I'm Steve Casey. Actually, my last name is Bruzik Casey. And for whatever reason, a few people have asked me to do 19 questions. And I can't fathom why somebody wants to hear from me. But I'm going to answer it. And I'm going to try and keep the glare off my glasses. Uh, let's just get right into it. The uh, name of my channel is kind of obvious. I started quite a while ago, and I always thought that um, the best way to do it is just be transparent and whatever, so that's where my channel name came from, and uh, I don't care to change it, because if uh, they don't like it or can't pronounce it, uh, so what? I was born in Miami, and I was born a long time ago. Grew up in Miami. It's a great place. Back then, it's too crowded now, but uh, it was a great place to grow up, and the uh, beach was like two minutes away, and life was good. Right now, I'm in Arizona, in the middle of the desert, just because I came out here to uh, do a couple things to change the where I was. I've been on an East Coast guy, more or less, been in Vegas, lived there, lived so on and so forth. But <laughs> other than reselling business, one thing that really appealed to me was there was spring training baseball with teams that I hadn't seen in spring training. I'd seen a lot in Florida, but I thought that would be kind of interesting. Uh, what would your parents name you if you were the opposite sex? I'm from a very large Italian family. I had lots of... Uh, sets of aunts and uncles. I mean, a lot. I guess uh, one of my dad's 12 other siblings uh, passed away when she was very young. And her name was Laura. L-U-R-A. And they always obviously spoke well of the child that uh, passed away. So I'd probably be something like that or something like uh, they're Catholic and I am Catholic and they were religious and um, Ave Maria would be another one. So um, my eye color, other than the glare from my glasses, is uh, greenish brown. And yes, they're brown and yeah, I've been accused of being full of crap. So uh, favorite candle scent. I don't have a favorite well i do have a, a favorite scent there's um something i've been using for decades uh it's called the art of shaving it's like um really how to do it right when you shave and i work with the general public and so i used a lemon art of shaving uh, set of you know, pre-shave and shaving foam and then uh, the balm after scent. So lemon was my thing and still is. And can I cook? Oh, hell yeah. Everybody gather around one of the grandmas, uh, you know, whatever celebration it was. And it was all Italian and it was do this and do that and you know kids of in the family were always given chores and assignments and watch this and they educated us and so it's uh it's one of the reasons i've battled with my weight for ever because uh, i was a chubby italian kid and i can really cook that stuff uh favorite holiday i gotta say Probably. No, nah, favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. Great food. Get to be with the people you want to be. And the rest of it's just the side stuff. It was, you know, it's who you like and uh, lots of food. And there we go. What item do I never leave? Oh, what's your... Skipped a couple. Damn it. Uh, guilty pleasure, I don't really have one. I do one certain thing on um, April Fool's Day every year. That is, uh, it's not really guilty, but 
Uh, I'll get into it on my uh, answer to my last question. What item do you uh, never leave the house without? Ice water. Here's ice water. Along with a normal, you know, phone and keys and wallet and stuff. And I'll tell you why I drink ice water in a minute. Am I an evening or morning person? <laughs> I used to be up, stay up all night after I'd been out chasing um, drug, sex, and rock and roll back in those days. Uh, I don't know. Now I guess I'm, I'm morning, mid morning. I, it doesn't really matter. I'm good at two in the morning. I'm good at six in the morning. It's, it doesn't matter. And what is your favorite movie genre? I like I like well acted movies. Okay, I like the actors and the script to be um, very thoughtful and and very well done. And cinematography is fun and all that stuff. So you know I could go with drama action. It doesn't really matter unless the it has to be professional and obviously I like things with twists and turns in it so obviously that would come into play too what's good in my life right now I am um, I got money in the bank I'm old I'm healthy I you know somebody loves me uh, I got great friends and I'm good with all that and what's the last thing I bought? I'm bouncing around here. Let's do that. What's the last thing I bought? I bought into an idea. And I am going to... Uh, I've been in the desert for three years. So what I bought into was the idea of moving. And it's going to happen this spring. I'm moving to the mountains. Because, you know dust and rocks and mountains it's uh, here it's been fine but they're you know they're desert mounts so i want to go with mountains where trees and green and babbling brooks and all that kind of stuff just to hang out with that my sign i'm a taurus i'm uh, uh bullish i'm aggressive and i like earth toned things uh, favorite holiday. What scares me about getting old? Nothing. I'm old. It's not for wimps, that's for sure. But every long time ago, everything that I did to my body and the way I went through life has, uh, it's, I did it. Okay. So I'm good with God, and you'll see why in my last, you know, final answer. And, um, uh, Try and do the right thing. Try not to break the ten rules, you know, that were carved on stone. Uh, stuff's going to happen, man. And when it happens, you just deal with it. And when I die, you know, I got a 50-50 chance of going to heaven. I'm hoping somebody that's uh, in my family or friends or acquaintances or that have uh, passed on before me, they'll you know, leave a side door open in, in heaven's gate and uh, maybe I can squeeze in there, but I'm I'm fine. I don't grunt and groan in the morning. I'm, hell, I'm almost 72 years old. And I don't know anybody that's got my energy at 72 or my outlook of it's, it's going to happen, man. So try and get the best out of it. That's why, you know, God put us here and he, trying to I still learn everything every day I mean something uh, Kaizen wise is uh, to continuously improve and that's what I'm trying to do uh, what do I binge watch I guess baseball winter time I just you know, while I'm listing stuff for eBay, I put on uh, MLB.com and just go that route. I've uh, <laughs> just recently, just for the hell of it, 
I went back and uh, I'm going through the West Wing, the entire series, just because of all the stuff that's been in the news lately and, you know, I'm not political uh, anymore, but uh, I thought it'd be a, a neat little reflection to see, you know, television's version 20 years ago, of the president and see all the stuff that's going on right now, so... That's what I've been wa binge watched lately. Uh, am I an introvert, or extrovert? I can't ever remember being shy about anything. It's just, it's just stuff, man. It just uh, whatever you know. I was, I was uh, extroverted, just all the way through. I mean, it's just that simple as that. And, uh, you know, Catholic school and you're an extrovert and you have a little personality. Boy, they try and, you know, bang it into your head that you got to keep quiet in class. Well, it just didn't happen. Okay, my biggest accomplishment is the reason I uh, bring ice water with me every day is I am a... 39 and a half years and then some recovering alcoholic and addict April 1st 1980 I have uh, not had a drink not been high so that's part of my biggest accomplishment over those years my best accomplishment has been I um, sponsored people try to get people healthy uh sober and then healthy and then back to you know a, a semblance of a balanced life or real normal life whatever that is there's no such thing as a balanced life as far as a recovering alcohol is concerned it's always on your mind even i mean i don't wake up every day saying i gotta have a drink but um it's there, you know, okay, it happened, you did it, it's your fault, I don't drink and deal with it, which I've pretty much done, the biggest accomplishment I had is the people I've sponsored that still remain clean and sober, and those people have sponsored people and helped people that have remained clean and sober, and those people, so it's like, it's like multi-level marketing, it's it's a ripple effect, and that's what I'm most proudest of. Uh, the reason for the ice water, I talked to a shrink at a party a long time ago when I was sober. And he asked me a question. I thought it was weird. He says, do you always have a drink in your hand with ice in it? And I go, yeah, but now it's like water, club soda, lemonade. And he goes, well, you know why you do that? one of the reasons you do it and other than being thirsty I said, oh. he says audio okay you're 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 placating your audio system by having a drink not necessarily alcohol not necessarily polar pop either within your immediate grasp so you'll manually be able to, to grab it. You'll physically be able to uh, audibly be able to hear it. And you'll, you know, physically be able to drink something. So it kind of hits a lot of, of the senses there. And that's it. That's enough. That's 15 minutes. Jesus. Okay, thanks uh, for the listen to that. I'm not going to tag anybody again. Uh, about three people are going to watch this. But I was asked, so I did it. I hope it uh, all turns out well for you next year, in the coming year, and uh, I'll see you later.